Aries, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? Um, so I'm doing your July 2019 reading. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started. Just doing however many shuffles. Whoops. I feel I need to. Okay. So let's get started here. First card out, we have There we go. Moving on. And We have Teach, so that is the Hierophant card. Okay, I'm just going to adjust. All right. There we go. Okay, so this could be you or this could be the other person or vice versa. We'll see how it goes. Um, I am going to add a Chakra card for this um, reading. For the month of July. So I want to see what chakras or chakra you guys are connecting on right now. Okay. So there's only seven chakras. Here we go. All right. So we have the sacral chakra. All right. So that is really the I want, okay? So we're in the energy of I want. So if we have, moving on, this is the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant. Somebody, somebody wants to move on from something. And somebody else really wants to, I feel like, wants to be heard is, you know, what I'm getting from this Hierophant card. I don't normally get that, but I feel like somebody wants to be heard and somebody wants to either move on or move towards something new. And it doesn't mean they're moving on from you or vice versa. It could mean that they want to move on in a different way or move forward in a different way. But they are sure about what it is they want to move on from or move towards. Okay? All right, so that's what I'm getting there. So I'm going to use the, the Night Sun Tarot this week, or this month, I should say. This is the deck, or this is the box for the deck. You can get on Amazon. Okay, and again, by Lo Scarabio. I, I love his decks. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, Aries. <laughs> all right, so let's see what we have here. I am downstairs with all the dogs, and it just is what it is. <laughs> okay, make sure you can see those. All right, let's see what we have here. 
Okay, so we have we have the Ten of Swords. All right, so something is complete for the for this person or for you. Something is done. I'm almost feeling like this is that this could be you. And then down here we have we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so this person right now feels like, I feel like this person feels like there are too many choices or they see you as having too many choices. With this Ten of Swords, you know, this was not something that was easy for you to move away from. But you knew, you knew that you had to do it in order to, you know, just to move your life forward. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so that's interesting. All right. This person feels like you have too many choices and you are in the energy right now of juggling potentially two people, two choices. Something isn't clear for you right now, or something may not be clear for you in the month of July. Page of Wands. This person wants to explore something with you and you are debating whether or not to allow this person to come into your life. And again, with the general reading, the energies could be reversed, but I'm feeling like this is you up here. And this is a reading about what you want. Okay, with the sacral chakra here. It's about what you both want. This person wants this person. That's, that's very clear. This person, you, I feel like are, are struggling with that. Look at that. Nine of Swords. This has not been easy for you. Whatever this choice is, or what you know, whatever you're going back and forth on, I mean, it's sandwiched between what you perceive to be betrayal and your worst nightmare. Is that the choice that you're making? Someone who possibly betrayed you versus, you know, something that you consider your worst nightmare. You want to move on. I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like this is a different person that made you feel this way. I don't feel like it has anything to do with this person. I feel like the two of pentacles has to do with this person. Ten of cups. This person feels like they could have complete emotional fulfillment with you. I feel like you're distracted. Like there's something more to this. I want to see what, um, I want to clarify the two of pentacles and the nine of swords here.
Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups. Clarifying the Two of Pentacles. And we got the Sun. Clarifying the Nine of Swords. So whatever it is that you're worrying about, it, it's completely, it, it's stop worrying about it because it's going to be not only a good outcome, but the best outcome. It's your bliss. And it's about something that you consider a wish fulfilled. And the fact that we have the Ten of Cups over the sun, I feel like it's this person. I feel like you feel like, for some reason, this person is not attainable to you. They are your wish. They would bring you ultimate happiness. And they see you as complete emotional fulfillment themselves. But they also see you as having too many choices. I feel like now, I feel like you moved on from this person, possibly, and, and you're kind of devastated about it. Let's clarify the um, this Ten of Swords here. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you felt like you were being very generous, very giving to somebody, and they absolutely stabbed you in the back. I feel like this is a separate person, and this has to do with this person. Has to do with the person that you want, Sacral Chakra, right here. This person wants you. This person wants to explore this relationship, this connection with you. You're worried about something unnecessarily, like you shouldn't worry about it. Whatever it is that you're worried about, if you're worried whether or not this person has feelings for you, has love for you, they do. They do. They absolutely have. They're worried about the choices that you have available to you. I'm actually going to clarify moving on for you as well. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this tells me that you, you didn't want to move on. You did not want to move on from this person. This is... You held back how you felt. And I feel like it's because of, of this situation right here in the past. There was somebody that, that I think really, really hurt you. I don't feel like it was this person. And I think it's made you very very skeptical of love, of connection, but it's here. This connection with this person is here. 
And this person could be in your life to teach you that you can open up to, to love again and, you know, and have your wish fulfilled. Have that connection that, you know, you didn't have in the past. That could, I mean, Nine of Cups and the Sun next to each other, I mean, that's bliss. With Ten of Cups here, and I feel like with these two cards falling on top of Two of Pentacles and Nine of Swords, it's like... It's like it's like it's like the universe saying all you have to do is look in another direction and you'll get exactly what you want. I want to clarify the hierophant for this person your person down here. The fool They took a leap of faith with you and you, I think, kind of gave them the cold shoulder. You might have, again, out of fear of what's happened in the past, I feel like this person took a, a leap of faith and really might have shared with you that they want you. And you may have not have even responded. You held back. You moved on. You were generous in your past relationships. You felt betrayed. You have choices. This person sees you as having a lot of choices. They want to explore this with you. I feel like they shared that with you. They may have shared with you that they want they they want the world with you. They want love and commitment with you. And because you might not have said anything to them or you were in this state of do I or don't I? It has caused you a lot of, of worry. And I feel like if this is the situation and this is what's happening, you can look the other direction, look back at them. You can go back. They will be receptive to you coming back. And it can be a blissful wish dream come true for the both of you. Let's see. Romance Angels. One for them, one for you, and advice for this connection. For them, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like they, I feel like they have done that. I feel like that's what they were trying to do with this page of wands. They wanted to explore and have fun with you. And I feel like they might have gotten shut down. And again, it could be reversed. For you, we have codependency. 
Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. So you might still be, you know, whoever was this Ten of Swords to you, that could still really be affecting you and how you move forward. Okay? That's what I would say for that card. Advice for this connection here. Choose your battles. So this is this is your choice. This is up to you. This is about what you want. Okay? And it's about what they want too. But I feel like the choice is in this person's hands, whether that's you or the other person. It's like, do you really want to battle with this person, especially if you feel like they are your Nine of Cups and your son? I don't think you do. I feel like this person or this energy wants to be with this person down here. It's like you're preventing yourself from having wish fulfillment. Why are you doing that? Nine of Swords. Clarified by the sun. Like you're making, this person is making problems where there don't have to be any. But they are recovering from, or you are recovering from, a Ten of Swords situation in the past. Which is causing you to do that. If this is you. If this is you, then your person is going through this. Okay? So I'm doing a little bit more of an extended reading for everybody for the month of July. I hope you enjoy that. I hope it resonates. And um, I hope you have a wonderful July. And I will talk to you for the weeklies next week. All right? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.